in this question it is given this block is not sliding with respect to the sloping surface of the wedge and wedge is accelerating in the rightward direction so it will be better to analyze the block from wedge frame of reference or non inertial frame of reference let us make the free body diagram of the block as we are considering the block from non inertial frame of reference we need to consider the pseudo force and we know pseudo force is opposite to the acceleration of the frame of reference this is the direction of the pseudo force and magnitude of this should be equal to mass multiplied by acceleration so this is our pseudo force and here in this case it will be better to analyze the forces parallel to the inclined surface and perpendicular to the inclined surface so this is the component of the pseudo force parallel to the inclined surface ma cos alpha and perpendicular to the inclined surface ma sin alpha component of the weight perpendicular to the inclined mg cos alpha and this is mg sin alpha this is the normal reaction this is the friction force which is opposing the sliding tendency of the block which is in downward direction so this is our friction force which is static in nature now we can write this normal reaction the magnitude of the normal reaction should be equal to mg cos alpha minus ma sin alpha now we can write a small f because this is not sliding upward force will be balanced by the downward force so we can write a small f equal to mg sin alpha plus ma cos alpha now we can take common small m we can take small m as common so here we can write a small f equal to m g sin alpha plus a cos alpha so this is the value of friction force now let us calculate the limiting friction force that is maximum possible value of the friction force this value is equal to mu multiplied by n n is equal to m g cos alpha minus m a sin alpha here again we can take a small s common so this value is mu multiplied by m g cos alpha minus a sin alpha we know this block is not sliding it means this friction force real friction force should be less than or equal to maximum possible friction force that means f should be less than or equal to f max and we know f equal to this value m g sin alpha plus a cos alpha and f max equal to mu m g cos alpha minus a sin alpha here a small m and a small m will get cancelled now we can get the value of mu so here we can write mu is equal to g sin alpha plus a cos alpha overall divided by g cos alpha minus a sin alpha so let us write the value of mu right this is the value of mu and here we can take cos alpha is common because we are given the value of tan alpha so if we take cos alpha here will be g tan alpha and in denominator we will have here a tan alpha so this is the final calculation now we can put the value of tan alpha which is 1 by 5 and g we are considering 10 meter per second square and a is equal to 2 meter per second square so after substituting the value we will get this value as 20 divided by 48 this is again we can write 5 by 12 it means we can observe option number 2 is the correct option